Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how I make the best scrubs to use for skin exfoliation at home. Guys, I'm showing you how to make a lip scrub and a face scrub. This is another DIY scrub recipe that is super easy and that you can make in your own kitchen. Want to see how I make these scrubs? Well, keep watching. So the first scrub we're going to be making is our lip scrub. And for the lip scrub, I'm using granulated sugar. I'm going to be using half a cup of granulated sugar. So let's move on to the next ingredient, which is coconut oil. So I'm using two tablespoons, but I'm going to be adding in each tablespoon one at a time. So you've just seen that I've added in one tablespoon of coconut oil. Now I love coconut oil because it's very moisturizing and it's a light oil and I think it works amazing in lip scrubs. So now after we've stirred it in, let's go ahead and add in an additional tablespoon so this gives us two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use either a spoon or a spatula like I'm using in order to mix it up. Now I love coconut oil because it is excellent for healing dry chapped lips. So the next ingredient we're going to be using is castor oil. So castor oil is an excellent emollient for the lips and it's going to give our lip scrub a very nice slip. So I'm adding in one fourth teaspoon of castor oil and now I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in exactly like I did the coconut oil. Like I mentioned before, this is a super easy lip scrub recipe that you can make at home in your own kitchen. You probably already have all of the ingredients except for this next ingredient that I'm going to add, which is mica. So I'm adding in a bright, beautiful orange colored mica. So I'm adding in 1 8 teaspoon of mica. And this is one of my favorite colors. I love walking into my bathroom and seeing beautiful, bright colors. It really entices me to go ahead and exfoliate my lips and my skin. I like to keep my exfoliant sitting out on my counter so that I can make sure that I exfoliate my lips a couple of times a week. So guys, just as an FYI, a printable version of this lip scrub recipe can be found over on my website at beautyrove.com. I will drop a link in the description box below. Also, over on the website, you can find other DIY skincare and hair care ingredients, as well as other recipes. So if you've been rocking with me for a while, thanks for subscribing. If you're new, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So the next ingredient that I'm going to be using is our lip flavor. So to go along with the theme, I'm using an orange lip flavor. So this is going to give our lip scrub a very orange fruity taste, which I love. Now of course, you can customize this recipe to your liking and you can use whatever type of flavor you like. And you can also customize this recipe by using different oils or whatever oil you choose. So now the next step is just to take a small container and transfer the lip scrub into the container. So this recipe makes about four ounces of lip scrub. So I'm using a two ounce jar. So you can go ahead and use a two ounce jar or you can use a one four ounce jar. So guys, there you have it. This is our lip scrub. So let's move on to our next exfoliant, which is our face scrub. And I'm going to be using brown sugar as my base. I'm using 113 grams of brown sugar. So the next ingredient I'm going to be adding is sunflower oil, and I'm adding in 23 grams of sunflower oil. Now, I love sunflower oil because it won't clog the pores, it's lightweight, and it's filled with fatty acids that helps to maintain the skin's natural barrier. So 
So now that we've stirred in our sunflower oil, let's move to the next ingredient, which is rose hip seed oil. I'm adding in three grams of this oil. It is extremely moisturizing and it hydrates the skin. It also has anti-aging properties as well as brightening properties. It evens the skin tone. It helps with cell regeneration. This is one of my favorite oils to use on my face. Now let's move on to the next ingredient, which is vitamin E. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I add vitamin E into the majority of my DIY at home skincare products. And that's because it is an amazing antioxidant. So after I've stirred that in, we're going to go ahead and add in our preservative. And I'm adding in one gram of preservative. And this particular preservative is Optifin. So our next step is to add our face scrub into our container. So I'm using a six ounce container for this face scrub. Now, just in case I didn't share all of the benefits that this brown sugar face scrub has to offer, this is one of my favorites because brown sugar is a very mild exfoliant, so it's perfect as a face scrub. And then the rosehip oil that I included in the face scrub, in addition to it moisturizing and hydrating the skin, it feels extremely light on the skin, and this face scrub will certainly help to improve the elasticity of the skin. So those are the main benefits of using a brown sugar face scrub in combination with rosehip seed oil as well as sunflower oil. So guys, this is the brown sugar face scrub. And this is our orange fruity lip scrub paired with our brown sugar face scrub. Guys, these face scrubs were so easy to make. I hope you try them at home. Also, the products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also head over to beautyrove.com for more skin and hair care DIY ingredients. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.